Hey guys, welcome to Room 316. Hi, Miss Johnson. Hey, how are you? Great, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Go for it, feel free. Okay, where do students find paper? Okay, so paper's over on the student resources uh, table. You'll find it over here. I kind of put all this stuff together so that you never really have to go anywhere else except one location. You have your stapler and your tape, paper, construction paper, and you even have pens and pencils and uh, scissors. Awesome, so we have no reason to go anywhere but the resource table. That's correct. So where do students turn stuff in? Okay, so the way things are turning in this year is gonna be a little different. Traditionally, it will just come over to this side of the room where I have four uh, trays stacked up for our four periods. But this year, in order to make sure we don't you know, spread any germs or spread as little as possible, I'm gonna pick up your trays and walk around to all of you guys so you can turn it in just like that. Awesome, so where do we pick up stuff? Okay, so this year's different too, to pick stuff up again. Again, remember that we're just trying to minimize germs and contact. We're gonna come over here, and I don't have it all set up yet, but I'm gonna have two of these crates, along with some uh, like folders inside of them with your name. You'll find your name, and you'll just take your papers out. That way, nobody's ever touching your paper except me and you. So where can I find your pencil sharpener? Well, right behind me, right here. So this is where we're gonna sharpen our pencil. And you'll see you also have like your tissues and stuff down here as well. Um, if this was any other year, this is also where you'd find all your hand sanitizer, but we have something a little special with hand sanitizer this year. Okay, so until we see that, where can we find your library books? Well, right behind me. So look, student library right here. And I've even got more books I'm slowly adding to it. So you guys should have quite a big selection. And I also want you to know, I've got all kinds of um, sort of grade level ranges because I believe reading should be for fun. So if you want to read a book that someone who's younger might read, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Awesome. So where are the textbooks? Okay, you don't see them yet because they're not here yet. But as soon as they're here, we're going to have four separate places to keep your textbooks. And it'll go by class. And I'll say it too. Second period, fourth period, fifth and sixth. Okay, and you mentioned a hand sanitizer. What's that all about? I'm so excited to show you guys this. So, if you come right here to this lovely contraption, you guys will never have to touch the hand sanitizer with your own hand. Remember, we're gonna stay healthy as can be this year. So what you do is you just, and I'm gonna lift my skirt up, but you just kind of step down on this, and there it goes, in your hand. No touching. Wow. So Ms. Johnson, if I need to leave the classroom, what do I do? Oh, you'll see right here I've got hall passes. So of course you'll have to ask me, can I leave the classroom? But I have hall passes that go for each sort of area. A library, office, restroom, um, and then last, a nurse pass. And what we're gonna do is spray these down after every class too, so that you guys are, again, are minimizing that contact. Okay, and finally, Ms. Johnson, the most important question. Mm -hmm. Cats or dogs? <laughs> Cats, obviously. Thank you guys so much for touring my classroom and I can't wait to see you guys in person whenever you do show up again. Bye.